All right, good morning, good morning. All right, sorry about that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our live trading session. My name is Carlos Garcia, founder and CEO of GAR Capital. Sorry we started a little later than usual. TD Ameritrade was actually down. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, finally back up. Uh, clocked my AMC. I got my Express. I'm happy. Uh, AMC was halted. Express was halted. So that's where we are. That's the name of the game sometimes, you know. You get yeah, brokers just couldn't handle the flow or who knows what the hell. So you can see AMC did fall back a little bit, made some profit. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with Express. I'm happy with AMC. Uh, caught some BlackBerry this morning. Um, looking solid. I think I gained about on BlackBerry about 77% on the unusual options activity. So again, uh, AMC is kind of dipping now. If you made some profits, feel free to take some. Uh, congratulations. Uh, at the end of the day, always have the perspective that, you know, profits are profits, man. You know, good good time to take some profits when you need to. Markets are down today. Dow futures are down. Dow is down about 500 points. NASDAQ down about one and a half. And S&P down 1.62. Just a lot of wildness out there. Volatility. Volatility is just the name of the game sometimes. Uh, look at GME bounce back about 313. I was looking at the uh, 150 calls on GME yesterday. And they were trading at around $32 each. Uh, just priced them out. I think they're at 165 now. So... GME is very expensive, so again, if you traded it, congratulations. Uh, I can't signal something like that because it's just too darn expensive, and I have to look out for everybody and be and be fair. And that's just the name of the game. Okay. Uh, with that being said, let's go to AMC and see what's what's shaking out there. Uh, the live trading session here, guys, is just you know, uh, talk to you guys, answer some questions, see if we can catch something out there, and kind of see what we do. So with that being said, uh, let's rock and roll. Uh, first thing I like to do in the morning, obviously, I like to do scanning. I want to see what's out there on usual options activity. Very simple, guys. You go to scan, option, hacker, and then you go to option, volume, 10,000 minimum is what I like. And we can start seeing. Look at XRT, the 70 puts. Uh, that's moving. Look at IWM, those puts. So XRT is getting some put action. Uh, Black, Blackberry for this week's 25 calls, 21,000 vol. Uh, NOK weeklies, which is Nokia, around 226. So again, a lot of things out there. So let's kind of break them down together and kind of see what we could do. So let's take a look at XRT. Where's that chart looking at today? And let's see. XRT, nice bounce. So I guess someone's playing the flush here. So let's go ahead and take a look at our scan and see which one of the XRTs everyone's talking about. So those 80 puts for March. So it looks like March expiry seems to be the soup du jour, soup of the day. Uh, let's see, March. Okay, we're going to have to expand our strikes a little bit. And let's start taking a look here on XR, was it? Oh, sorry. XRT. Is it XRT or XRP? XRT. So it's the retail ETF. So a lot of puts here. Uh, let's take a look at March. March, I think it was March 19 that was standing out. Look at this. So you see the 60 puts for 21,000, the 70 puts for about 42,000. Now, would I trade this? No. Why? Because the spread is very wide. The spread is the difference between the bid and the ask. So again, we can keep an eye on it, but we're not going to trade it right now. It's just that it's too wide. I mean, exactly right when we get on the ask, if we want to sell at the bid, it's going to be it's not going to look as good and we're going to be down right away when we get it. Uh, not exactly what we want obviously moving on let's take a look and see what else is out there on the scan and okay five calls for uh this week a little more on the riskier side let's take a look at nok that's nokia that's this week's 29s and you can see the volume picking up the six calls for 10,000 vol uh let's see and i think i had the scan here on that the five dollar calls I think those are in the money already. Yeah, those are in the money, 23,000 ball. Sure, you could take a look at the sixes, but you got to keep in mind that you're talking about time is against you. So you could see that we did hit that top. There was some dark pool action that Josh, my analyst, was telling me about. So I would wait on it. I mean, we could always do one together here on NOK and see from there. So I'm going to keep an eye on it, some unusual options activity there. Let's see if we have repeated bull bets here. Ah, uh, the sevens for February 5th as well. So that's a little more outdated, a little more farther dated. And you can see just repeated bullish bets, sevens, eights. So again, a lot of repeat bets on, on Nokia. So you can see February 19, the thir 13,000, the nines, 
So looking at this chart, you could see it's reversing. So let's go ahead and just wait on NOK. Just because it has high volume doesn't mean you should get in right away. Wait a little bit. Let's see what happens. Maybe we retake that 5, 545. Maybe we retake this level here. So let's kind of do that together and let's put an alert here on 536. If 536 hits, then we can go ahead and see what happens. Maybe we get to look at the 6s, the 7s, and so forth. But until then, I want to wait for Nokia to break 536 first before we get in. That's easier. Put in your alerts, let the system do the work for you, and then you move forward and see what you do. You don't have to get in right away. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Seeing a lot of folks scared about a crash because expect your crazy moves. What you, I mean, you're going to get, you had that on Bitcoin. What happened? Did it crash? No. Tesla, people have been saying, oh, speculative. <laughs> Tesla's been on fire. And that's just the name of the game. I think people who say that usually because they missed out and they want to bring everyone back down to earth. Um, a lot of people do that. When they miss out on something, they just say it's a bubble because they don't have any money in it and they don't feel like uh, they have anything. So they feel like they want to be part of something. That's kind of the deal. Uh, AMC, I believe, is halted. Uh, halted right now. Let's see the AMC flow. Let's see if there's any kind of call action out there. I went ahead and up updated everything. So you could see the $9 calls are the highest strike on the board. Not really worth it. Not worth going by. So we'll leave it there. So let's look at NOK and wait for that. So AMC, the strikes are a little, a little wacky because the nines are the highest. So we want something out of the money. So let's wait for AMC tomorrow and see what they have there. Maybe we get an opportunity. Maybe not. Express, same thing. Um, it's already halted twice, Express and, and uh, AMC. So again, that's just the name of the game. Sometimes markets get crazy. Yeah, uh, I guess Kensu has the right idea. Absolutely. Not to mention hedge funds have been caught saying stocks are fraught. Yeah, I mean, listen, guys, for every guy who's long, there's a guy who's short somewhere out there. You're trading against somebody. When you make money in the market, you're taking someone's money. That doesn't feel good to someone who's on the wrong end. So what do they do? They're going to go ahead and go online and say whatever they want to say and say, oh, it's a fraud. This is BS. People are dumb. Listen, it doesn't matter what the name name calling is. It doesn't matter. All that matters is did you profit? Forget what people talk about you or you're dumb, Redditors are dumb. Well, listen, I've seen those posts on Reddit and Wall Street Bets. I've seen them on Twitter and they look pretty smart to me, the way they're making money. I mean, it's all about results. It's a results-based business. You can get mad all you want and call it a fraud, but cash is cash. You're making money. That's what it is. So don't beat yourself up. Uh, well, this is TOS, Thinkorswim Platform. This is TOS, yeah. So AMC was uh, halted a couple of times. So that's where we are. Uh, AMC, I took my profit, so congratulations to our members uh, that took the unusual options activity. Very proud of you. Good stuff. If you want to be part of the unusual options activity, I'll go ahead and show you all the unusual options activity that we had. It hit 1,000%, Express hit 274%, uh, BlackBerry hit 56%, now it hit, actually hit 70%. And you could see uh, football also soared. Uh, football, I think, made about 53%, excuse me. BlackBerry hit like 70%. So very nice. Uh, we had met yesterday. So again, this is all part of our premium and masterclass service. So again, if you're interested in unusual options activity, we'll post it. We'll keep you guys up to date on it. And uh, again, just go light on these unusual options activity. 1% to 2% seems about right. And that's the way you want to do it. So again, just wanted to give you a little, little insight in how we do things. Um, are you investing in any other alt except ETH? Yeah, um, one of my, uh, my CIO, he's into... Stellar and OMG and some other ones. Um, I have ETH and uh, I have Band and Link, but a small, small, very small positions. And of course, I have Bitcoin. Okay, and okay, uh, we're waiting for 536. If it breaks, then we can go ahead and talk about it. Let's look at an Airbnb, Airbnb, and then we'll take a look at the scanner again. Airbnb is on fire, so let's take a look at Airbnb. See that break? Let's see if there's any volume out there. Oh, the big volume's on the 200s, nothing else on the board. So we're just going to skip that one. Let's go ahead and take a look at our, uh, let's see, our options scanner. And let's see what's moving. So we're going to, again, update the scan, always update the scan, and see from there. Uh, football calls, we already had it for unusual options activity. I already hit it and got out. I got 50% on it. Uh, let's see. Blackberry, for this week, 25 calls are getting some love. Um, NOK, again, we have NOK on our alert list. 
Um, nothing really crazy. M I K. Look at this. Sixteen thousand vol for twenty two and a half. So let's take a look at M I K. I've never even heard of that name. So let's see what's out there. Michaels. There you go. Michaels of all things. Let's go to scan and see M I K. Uh, twenty two and a half for February nineteenth. Twenty two and a half for February nineteenth. Let's see. Oh, M I K. Uh, February 19, 22 and a half. Look at this. So, again, this could be another one of those pops, and you're getting a nice little breakout here. So, again, you're seeing that break around 1665. Again, this is could be unusual options activity. You see this, right? And okay, I need a little more. I would definitely like to see 1696 break. The alert is the 22 and a half calls. The spread is pretty pretty decent. Uh, let's see if M. MIK can break a little, actually break out of this range here. Really the level I'm looking for is 1696. So let's go ahead and place an alert at 1696. If it does break 1696, then we'll take a look at these uh, 22 and a half calls together and maybe do some unusual options together. How do you create those Discord and unusual options here? Upgrade, downgrade, what's the selections? Is that a bot algo? No, we type it and then the news is just tweets from all the Twitter uh, news people that we follow direct to you guys. So um, again, that, that's automated for the, for the most part. Uh, some of the news I type myself. What tool is that you're using? This is a TD Ameritrade. The tool that I'm using is the scan, scan under option hacker. You go to option volume, minimum 10,000. That's it. Can we see your option scan? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> you're looking at it. This is the option scan right here, guys. Again, you can see NOK getting some volume here. But again, we want to wait for 536. Let's take it easy. Overall market, stay bullish, man. That's that's what I've been doing, staying bullish. I haven't sold any stock. I don't care about selling any stock. I'm holding long term and uh, working with that. Let's see if I can get this going. I have some emails I have to delete. My apologies. Uh, do you have to pay monthly to stay in the Discord channel? Yes, it is every month. And NKLA quick trade for 25. Yeah, I think we got that yesterday, Jose. I think we got that yesterday. So nice stuff. Hey, you're welcome. No sweat. So again, guys, there's no spe special sauce. I mean, just do your own homework. Do your homework and you'll be fine. Uh, just do your option scanner. Again, it's not gospel. Again, you want to take a look at it and see what's out there. And OK is getting some buys. Again, we're waiting for that level for the most part. Just kind of take it easy. MIK, we're waiting on. Take a look at Sirius, uh, Sirius XM, six and a half calls for February 19th. So let's take a look at Siri together. And you could see a nice pop. Uh, up a little bit nice breakout so let's see which calls they're looking at Siri and I think if I go to my option scan Siri is at six and a half for Feb 19 so that's in the money so we don't usually trade that so you can see February 19 right there six and a half sixteen thousand ball nothing else out there is even worth your time so we'll skip Siri and I'll go back to GME since that's all the fireworks out there I like looking at it and tweeting about it all right, so MIK is coming back. Let's see if we can catch that one together. I can't TD. Uh, you can use interactive brokers if you live in Europe. Are your options alerts for day traders? You can just get a cash account, and you don't have to worry about day trading uh, issues. Just make sure you don't have margin. Are we heading towards February market correcting? No, I'm not expecting any kind of market correction. Uh, option scan for Europe, I'm not sure. I can only use TD. But another way you can do is barchart.com. They have unusual options activity. You can take a look at that. Uh, let's take a look at BlackBerry. Uh, I already closed those today. Uh, BlackBerry, yeah, it's up 8%. I don't see... Let me see this option scanner again and see if BB has anything there. Uh, that's worth it. Yeah, this week's 25s. I'm not going to get into anything for this week, to be honest with you. It's already Wednesday. I usually just do it that way. Uh, Microsoft. Microsoft had a blockbuster quarter but fell with the market. And you can see it is bouncing nicely. So Qs and your NASDAQs will bounce with it. Remember... Uh, earnings report for Tesla and Apple today after the bell. DKNG, uh, need an alert. I have an alert at 5666. We'll go ahead and wait on that. If that breaks, then we'll take a look. Do you pay attention to supply and demand zones after sharp market swings? I am all about price action. Price levels is all I care about. Any call plays for next week? Well, right now I have MIK. And I'm waiting on that to break. 1696. Waiting for NOK. That would be an unusual options activity. But we will make sure we see. And the idea is to just wait and see. Uh, Square, let's take a look at Square together. Square pulled back a little bit. I own the stock, and you can see it's got a kind of carving out a bottom here. Uh, my alert to actually buy more shares. 
if I can bring that up. My alert to buy more shares. Oh, I thought I had it. My alert to buy more shares is right at the 100-day moving average, which is right around 191.39. So 191.40, if that breaks, I will buy more shares. I love Square long-term, and I love a, a nice discount, of course. So good thing we didn't get into to NOK. You could see that it fell, so we need 536 to break. So again, guys, trading is waiting. I've said this many times before. Trading is waiting. The most important thing, guys, is to stay patient, act like a sniper, and wait for your opportunity. Don't just jump into anything blindly. Be smart. Take your time. Breathe. And we'll get there. You'll get there. IVR. IVR is Invesco. And you can see it at 422. Let's see if there's any volume here. Uh, nothing really to get wild for, uh, to be honest with you. February 19th, I guess. I'm not a huge fan about it, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna skip it. Uh, Clove. Yeah, I heard about that SPAC. Everyone was talking about. It. I think it was what's his name, Pariah. I forget his name. So let's take a look. I, I always remember his name. Um, February 19th has some vol, sure, but you can see the movement is not that great. So I'm gonna skip it. I mean, February 19th, sure, there's some 20 calls that look decent, but nothing really wild. I'll keep an eye on it. Um, but again, nothing really to go crazy for. Workhorse. Workhorse looking good. I actually had that on unusual options activity yesterday. It caught 100% profit. Uh, this week's 35s are gaining in volume. I'm not going to trade it. Uh, again, it's just too close to comfort for the expiry. Time, time decay can hurt. So I will skip it. Macy's is getting some love. America's favorite retailer. Funny enough, Macy's. Yeah, I saw that. Some people were talking about that. Uh, Macy's did pop to around over 20 and then it fell back down. Uh, let's take a look at the scan again and see what else is new. These guys are on fire today. Uh, again, remember, we're still waiting on NOK. We're still waiting on Michaels. Let's see if we get it. Um, let's see. Remember, red is puts, green is calls. Um, Microsoft uh, 235s for this week, getting some love too. But I think those are in the money. Yeah, those are in the money. Uh, Neo, I own the stock, and right now not much going on. N I K has been broken. We got a live one. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill it. I'm gonna go ahead and buy five. See, and about 500 bucks, and we're good. So let me go ahead and type this out for unusual options activity. Uh, M I K Feb 19, 22 and a half calls as. 17,377 ball. Ask at 95 where I got it. And then I always type UOA. So that's there. That's uh, open. So MIK is open and I'm green 2%. How do those 11s feel? They feel great. They feel great. They feel really nice on my feet. Uh, do you guys open any positions yet? Yeah, we just opened MIK. Uh, unusual options activity. I'll copy and paste it for you guys so you guys can see. Make life easy. Make life easy. I'll even tweet it so you guys can see. There you go. All right, it's all it's already tweeted out, so you guys are good. Uh, let's see on MIK. We're up eighteen percent on MIK. Very nice. GBTC, I'd rather just own Bitcoin. Uh, SM, let's see. SM is SM Energy. Not much there on the chart to really waste your time. But look at MIK. It's up 23%. Very nice. Very nice. Again, we did the scan. I did it live with you guys. And you could see. You do the scan. You do your charts. And go from there. Uh, it could be a swing. It could be a day trade. I mean, it's for February 19th. If you get 40%, just take it. Uh, if you don't want to and you want to hold because you have PDT, this looks great. Just hold on to it. You'll be fine for tomorrow. So, again, it's up 23% already. Uh, yeah. So, 23% on MIK. Very cool. Yeah, MIK, you can hold on to it. No big deal. So, don't worry about a day trade. You'll be fine. It's already 30%. So, <laughs> geez, that was quick. Uh, so keep in mind, team, that uh, this kind of work, this kind of UOA, again, it's only for premium members and master class. Basic members do not get this. Uh, 
It's only premium and master class. Again, we have the, the, the deal going on for master class PS5 and an iPhone, pretty cool. 40% uh, on MIK, so there you go. Uh, let's see if I can get this going. Oh, that was fast, 42% uh, already. Um, if you have if you have it and you're happy with it, go for it. Um, enjoy. I'll go ahead and post a screenshot on Twitter if you guys just want to give me a second. CD FG. Okay, first of all, my TOS is acting retarded. It didn't even show up the position, and then I got logged out. How did you know that 1696 was moved to get in? Well, I looked at the actual let. Uh, set up here this was my level right here 1659 this is the breakout of the channel and uh, it's nothing really crazy to to do it's not that difficult to do uh, everyone could do it don't feel don't feel that you know I have some kind of secret sauce everyone has it look at NOK good thing we didn't get in right guys of course the volume wasn't there but we didn't need to get in again let's wait for 536 and we'll get there I'm at 34 percent on MIK so uh, I'm still holding it. So again, I want to take a screenshot so I can post on Twitter. Now I, I think I should be able to get it and be okay. Um, let's see. 39% uh, on MIK. Let's see. EMAs, I just do the DMAs, which is the 50-day, the 100-day, and the 200-day. So take a look at that. I mean, small thing we trade, M MIK. I'll go ahead and post this 39 percenter for you guys. Uh, again, I'm holding it. I like the chart, so I'm gonna hold that thing. Uh, if you guys wanna hold it, cool. Uh, up to you guys. Uh, so did everyone get MIK? It's MIK, not MLK. And MLK is Martin Luther King. <laughs> MIK, uh, which call option? I got the February 19. The it's right here, guys. It's right there. Uh, 22 and a half calls. Uh, is it too late to fill? No, you can, I mean, well, I'm already 34% on it. Um, I'd hate to say for you guys to just get in. Um, go in half position, I and mean, you can, I'm holding it. Any express, express, guys, express, keep in mind, express, there really isn't much in the options volume in regards to longer trade options. So we'll take a look at it here in a second. I had some laser that I we had for students, so I may take a screenshot of that thing for our team. Of course, my TOS is on my phone is acting dumb, so bear with me a second. Yeah, my system is acting weird. But again, this is the only way I can get screenshots so uh, to get to you. So give me a second so I can send it to the team. And this is... Yeah, TOS went down. This is why we didn't do it earlier. Uh, we didn't do our, our sessions together earlier. Uh, our session today earlier. So I just wanted to get that. And let me close laser, L-A-Z-R, which was a trade for our students. I'm still up on M-I-K. Okay. Um... About that, I had to just update the students real quick. Um, MIK is at 40%. Very cool. Okay, where are we? Um, is this day trading? Well, sometimes it's swing, sometimes it's day. Um, yeah, February 19 on Express, you can see the $7 calls are getting some vol at 9,000. We'll probably hit our scan pretty soon since we're over 10. 
Uh, we'll take a look. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye. Uh, let's see where Express is. MIK is still going strong. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Express. Yeah, you're seeing that a nice little bounce here. Um, it is up 100 something percent. That's the only thing. And it's $3.90. Um, I'm not going to get into Express. I just got out of it. I don't like to double tap uh, on the same day. I don't like doing it, so I'm going to skip it. Yes, this is going to be live for everybody. It's going to be a video upload. You guys can see it anytime. So this is free for all. Um, what's the word? What's the word I want? <laughs> uh, is it possible to do another one on a different date? Yeah, we'll see if we can set something up. I know TD Ameritrade was having some issues. But if you just joined, uh, most of you guys got MIK. So congratulations. Uh, Disney. Uh, Disney fell with the market. Uh, looks like it's the bounce, but nothing here to play, to be honest with you. And the market's bouncing anyway, so you don't want to play puts. Um, Holy laser. Yeah, you got it. We had those. I had those calls. I already got out of them. Uh, I want to see GME again. I love seeing what's happening there. Let's see if it hits 300 today. <laughs> MRNA. I'll say so. NOK. We know nothing going on there. Uh, we we have our alert. MRNA. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's moving. It's an expensive one, mind you. So let's take a look at MRNA together. Uh, nothing much involved, man. So we're gonna skip that. Nothing there to play. We just we will skip that. LMND. LMND is looking nice. Uh, not, not, still not a break out of the channel. I would say a break of around this wick high of around 170.57. Let's wait for that. If we get that, then I would definitely take a look at LMND. Palantir. Ah, I own that stock. Uh, looking like it does want to boost. Uh, I think if we get some volume here. Ah, look at these for 40s for this week. A lot of unusual options activity. So someone is betting big on Palantir. That's scary, right here, 40. So again, this would probably be a lotto play on, on uh, Palantir. You could see there. Um, I'd hate to alert it just for the simple fact that it's same week, but it could be very lucrative, very lucrative. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell my guys, PLTR, Jan 29, 40 calls, 23,500 and Oh, 637 vol, ask at 105. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these. I'm going to buy four of these. Again, I go very light on unusual options activity. $400, $500, keep the risk in check, and go from there. That's the most important thing is keep your risk in check. And Palantir, I'm in. So I'm going to go ahead and just send this to you guys. Um, when it comes to GME, guys, it's just too darn expensive. I, I can't in good conscience send that out. Uh, just not going to work for me. I just can't do it because a lot of people just don't have the capital to trade that kind of th that kind of thing. And I don't want anyone to feel like they're missing out. Um, MIK, I mean, we're up 55% now. Uh, MIK, 55%. So let me go ahead and tweet that. Again, there you go. MIK was nice. Uh, buying Elman Steel, I, I have to research it. And right now, it's not the best time. <laughs> Nothing against you, man. Love you, but I can't do it. Not right now. Okay, so Palantir, I'm green, 4%. There you go. So I'll go ahead and update you guys uh, on that. So 4% Palantir, we have it here. Again, it's for this week's 40s. I mean, just be careful. We're up 6% on it. Again, I went very, very light. TD's fine with me. No issues here. How long do I expect to hold M MIK for? Tomorrow, maybe next week. Uh, let's take a look at the chart together. I mean, it's nice, man. You could, you could get that explosion up. Uh, I'm placing an alert at 17.90. That's the high. We should break that today. Um, I'll probably hold till tomorrow, if not next week. Again, I have a later expiry. You're talking February 19th. So there you go. If you guys want to take your money, 
Take it. Be happy. It's at 42%. Enjoy. Be smart. Uh, space is great because I own the stock. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Uh, space we hit so many times this week. Oh my god, it's been on fire. So let's take a look and place an alert at the break of the high. That's the first thing I'm going to do. 48.69, I think. Let me go ahead and change that. Change that alert. So again, you can click on anywhere on the screen and just do this. Um, it's not that difficult. And then you can just adjust it how you want, guys. I, I know I use TOS. Not everyone has it. But again, it's what I recommend. I don't get paid from Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade to do this. Um, again, it's just to help you guys. Uh, Palantir is up 10%. Very cool. Hope you guys can get it. Nice, JC. Yeah, AMC, nice. You got that. Uh, let's see how space is moving. Maybe space has some unusual options activity down the line. Uh, the 50 calls for next week have some vol. They look decent. I wish there was some more. Um, wish it would have been more of the... I'm not going to do anything for this week, that's for sure. But again, the 50 calls are a little pricey, 585. So I already hit a couple of times this week. I'm going to skip it, and I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that. I'm going to skip that. Uh, football is on fire again. You see the rotation back again at these momentum names. It moves. So let's take a look at AMC again. AMC with a nice bounce. You see 1622. Uh, if you look at AMC on the options chart, there is no expanded strikes off nine. So whatever. Who cares? Let's see, any short-term Tesla plays? No, they have earnings today, so I am not touching that thing. It's gonna be careful. Uh, Palantir, we're now up 10%. MIK is still going. Tesla calls, I'm not gonna do Tesla calls, guys. Sorry, not gonna happen. If you do it, that's on your own. Not happening with me, can't do it, can't do it. And Express, guys, I can't do anything on Express because remember, look, oh, let me see if I can expand the strikes. $10 calls, that's it. All you're getting is, is these kind of name, is the strike of 10. It's not gonna work, guys. Can't do anything there. I'm not gonna buy in the money calls for this week. I've already made money on it. I made like, I think it was like 800%, 700%. Why am I gonna keep going to the craps table when I've already made money? What kind of volume do you consider unusual options? Anything above 10 is pretty good. That's really my barometer. 10,000 minimum, that's what I look at. So NOK is moving, again, Blackberry. The same old names, nothing has really changed. Nothing really changed here, guys. Uh, MIK, I still have up, I'm up 36%. Uh, Palantir, I'm up 8%. Uh, we have that together. And we're rocking and rolling, team. Uh, Carl's one indicators on your chart. This is a 50-day moving average, which is the yellow. Blue is the 100-day moving average. And the red is your 200-day moving average. If you guys got MIK, congratulations. Yes, I buy Bitcoin every Thursday, so I'll buy some more on Thursday. I dollar cost average my Bitcoin. Let's see what else. Um, okay, Palantir just went red. But that is for this week. So the 40 calls, again, there was a lot of volume. We'll hold on to it. I went very light. Anything with plug. Now, keep in mind with plug, guys. What happened with plug, they had a share issuance. Share issuance. So they added more shares to the market. What does that mean? It dilutes the current shareholders, meaning whatever stock you held, there's more supply. The demand hasn't changed. So that's why they're down. Is a company a good company? Yeah. Again, they're just raising cash by offering more shares. That's it. Or are you using SMA and you I just use SMA, just works for me. Can you check C Love? Uh, C Love is moving. We looked at that together and there was not much in volume to play with, so we skipped it. NKLA, yeah, NKLA actually hit yesterday and it's on the move. So let's take a look at NKLA today. Let's see what's going on there. 
UCLA. Uh, volume for this week is not that amazing, and nothing for next week either. Not much to to you know, really put any effort into it, uh, and add more risk for no reason. It's not. It's pointless. MIK dipped a little bit. Now we're at around 23%. But again, hold nothing. I uh, have a 1790 level for the break. I'm still holding it. Palantir, we just went green. SRNE. SRNE is moving. Oh, let me go ahead and take a look here. SRNE. Okay, there's some volume here, sure, for this week. Next week, not so much. So I'm going to skip it. I'm not going to trade it for this week. I already have Palantir. It's enough for this week. What's SOS? I've never heard of this name. I don't think this stock even trades options. Okay, it does. February 19, there's some volume. Nothing really worth going crazy about. BABA, I own the stock. Happy with BABA. And you can see just pretty much just range bound. Not much going on. AMC is pushing again. Around $17 a share now. Very nice. Anyone who held AMC, good for them. Uh, where are we at here? Palantir is basically flat. Uh, and okay, do I look at volume? Yes, I look at volume and price action. And okay, guys, remember, we need 536. DKNG, again, guys, we need 5666 before we even do anything. I own the stock anyways, but when it comes to calls on DKNG, is there anything worth our time for next week? Maybe the 60s, 2600? Not terrible. 60s would probably be a good target. Let's see if we get there. About the dip on AMC, up 30%. Ooh, there you go. Nicely done. Disney. Disney again. Guys, nothing there. It's carving out a bottom. Just move on. Nothing else. And guys, not force the issue here. We don't want to force anything. Uh, taking a look at AMC again, you can see a nice little pop. Nice little pop there. See Express. I already made money on Express. So it looks like these names are getting back up. You can see $7 here. Uh, if you go to Express, is there anything for volume that's anything worth it? The $7 put calls, the $9 calls for March, 1,000 vol? Not good. No, I'm not going to waste my time. It's not enough. I need a little more out of my trades. I need a little more. So we'll skip that. Let's take a look at NOK. Again, I'm just waiting. Uh, scan again. This is the platform TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim platform. It's free for everybody. Do you think 40 by Friday saw unusual calls? Uh, yeah, I mean, BlackBerry, I, just, I wouldn't do it for this week. Uh, it depends on the strike. But uh, no, I wouldn't trade this week. I already got out of everything BlackBerry uh, that we had for unusual options activity for our members. I already got out of that thing. What is the best trading platform in UK? It would be Interactive Brokers. That would be the best in the UK. For me, TD Ameritrade is my favorite. I'm stateside. Uh, anyone international, Interactive Brokers seems to be the best way to do it. So that's your best bet. Uh, XRP, I believe that's Ripple. I don't think you could do anything there. <laughs> um, AMD, again, earnings, they dropped. Stay away. Again, I have an alert at 81.97 to buy shares. And Microsoft, they just reported. It's not a, it's not a mover and a shaker right now, so we're just going to wait on it. BBBY. Uh, nothing there on BBBY. It's up 18%, sure, but the chart is not exactly bouncing. But if we look at BBBY, is there anything that stands out here to you guys in volume? Not really. Nothing to ways to put our money down. Again, we want to be protective of our money. I'm not going to buy some 60 calls in three days. It's not happening. So we skip that. Uh, Visa. Visa. Let me tell you something, guys. Visa, when it comes to options, is complete trash. Do not trade options on Visa. I've been burned before. They are horrific with volume and options. Skip it. Just like Bank of America. Uh, FDX. Same thing. Nothing there. Why do you buy Bitcoin every Thursday? Like, why that day? It's just, I don't know, I just picked it random. Thursday. There's no specific reason. <laughs> it's just, I like Thursday to do it. Because Fridays, I buy my SPY G every week. Have I seen FNGU? I've never heard of this name in my life. Uh, Bank of Montreal, FANG Index, Leverage Index. Uh, no, I have not heard of this. And I don't think I'm going to trade it. Uh, let's see there's something else here. A workhorse. Yeah, Workhorse we talked about. I remember Workhorse only had anything that was in the money. There wasn't anything out there. I think the one I saw was the 37s. Oh, this is for this week. There's nothing out there after that. So 
Space just broke. Hey, okay. Space. Now you want to play. All right, let's see. It's some unusual options activity for space. We don't want to buy the 50s for this week. That's a little too risky. A little too risky. The 50s for next week are $6.65. I'm not going to signal that. It's just too expensive to signal for guys. I'm skipping it. I'm happy shareholder. But when it comes to space, buying $4 calls for three-day expiry is just too risky. And I'm not going to do it. So I'm skipping it. Laser we already took today for students. So I'm definitely not going to get back in when I already made money. 40% just works for me. That's just something I've always been going by. It works. There's no real rhyme or reason. It's just what works. That's just kind of like the base hit level. A ARKK is bouncing. Um, doesn't have much in regards to options. Space likes to move around. Look at ARK. Nothing, guys. Nothing on ARK. So when it comes to space, again, I, trade, I traded this three times yesterday, mind you. Keep in mind, this name can be very scary. So again, it does like to reverse quickly. So I'm not going to trade it, especially with these premiums being so expensive. I'm not going to do it to you guys. I'm not going to signal a $3.90 trade for you guys. Uh, ARK, after goodbye, wait for the report to, to go ahead and buy. Wait for the report. Uh, we went over Square already, and there was nothing there. Again, I'm a happy shareholder of space. Square is just carving out a bottom. There's no real technical analysis to trade that. Palantir is red currently. Uh, BBBY. I think I've been answering the same questions over and over. So BBY, there's nothing there and there's no volume, nothing to play. CGC, I already have calls and it's on the move. I'm only down 8%. I have 37 calls for next week. So all good. CCIV. CCIV, nothing there. It's down 8%. Nothing to do there. A, what is this? A-L-Y-I. Nothing. This is a penny stock skip. Twitter. Nothing there, just retesting the 50-day moving average. A toss, nothing there. It's a penny stock skip. Apple, they, re they report today, so again, caution. <clears throat> and OSTK, which is overstock, nothing there either. Uh, BABA, already talked about that. Nothing there, guys. It's just sideways action. <laughs> guys are funny. Palantir, again, it's just dipping here. Again, uh, we're down about 32% now. Again, I went very light. You saw how much I went. I went very light on it. Same week expiry, so not really worried about it. I saw a lot of volume, so I played it. Why not? Why not? 30,000 fall. I'll rock with it. I went extremely light. Snap thoughts. I think they report next week, and they're breaking down, so nothing to do here. MIK is back to 40. I'm still holding MIK, guys, so no sweat. How long am I streaming for? I'm streaming more for 20 more minutes. Going up a lot. I'm buying in a correction, but no correction. I don't know what that means. How long am I streaming for? Uh, until 11 o'clock. Uh, Beyond is an expensive name as well. You can see it did come back. Look at look at GME go. GME is going. Uh, MIK, we're 47%. Uh, the only recap, again, MIK, 47%. If you want to keep that, that's up to you. And I have Palantir, uh, the 40 calls. If you want to take a look at Twitter, that's where it's there. Uh, Ride is going to go down with Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is not getting the love like it used to. Everyone's going to, this, to these other crazy names. That's where the money's flowing. Uh, what else are we looking at? H-Y-L-N. Uh, it's moving. Let's see if there's any volume. This is why I don't do a lot of lives, guys. I have so much going on. I have so many messages. I have members to take care of. So, again, I appreciate the 100K in in uh, in followers. Next time, we'll do a next one when we hit 200,000 followers. Am I right? I think we can get 200,000 followers. Uh, MIK, 57%. So, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. Unusual option activity. Is that GME? Options cost more than... Yeah. Skip GME, guys. It's expensive. 
It's expensive. Can't do it. I don't. I can't signal that to you guys. It's just too darn expensive. Can't do it. With a clear conscience, I cannot. I cannot do that. Carlos, let me take the chance to thank you for all your work. I've been able to go from 100 to 500 watching your videos, hoping to turn your premium someday. Awesome, Roy. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. No, man, I'm not the goat, guys. You guys are the goats. You guys are following us. Really do appreciate that. Just here to help. No, not 110. 200K. So tell your friends to follow us. Can do it every day. And we do it live every day. It's the morning note. You know that. <coughs> Mara, I don't own. And again, it's basically based on crypto. So price target, if I'm bullish on Bitcoin, it'll probably be 40. Uh, no, I'm not, I can't do a live once a month, guys. I'd be taken away from people that pay for the service. Can't do it. Sorry. And I already do once a week uh, lives with our YouTube premium, guys. So if you're interested in the YouTube premium channel, go to the stories on Instagram. It's there to sign up. Just a heads up. What the hell is T-A-N? <laughs> these, these names. I'm so lost. Okay, so Claymore, I don't know. There's nothing there. Uh, nothing there there anyways on the chart. Remember, I don't care what the volume says. If the chart doesn't make sense, it's not worth it. Keep in mind. QCLN, same thing. S sideways action. CCL is popping, but again, it's about to reject the 50 or just take to the 50. Nothing there. So you just kind of move on. Uh, Palantir, we're down 24, mind you. For the paid service, do we get access to the stream every day? We don't do a stream every day, mind you. There's no stream every day. Can't do it every day, guys. So I'll keep you guys up to date on Palantir here. Minus 72%. Uh, I subscribe to the premium YouTube. Yeah, Jose is a premium YouTube member, man. He loves it. One, Jose's good people. He loves, he has great questions all the time. And okay calls. Yeah, and okay, guys. I need 536 to break on NOK. Okay. When NOK okay breaks, we're good. Uh, yes, Finding Thomas is asking about MIK. We're up 36% now. It was up 57% at one point. Um, just swinging it with you guys for now. Um, I can close it here. I already got 40. Just move on. It's been a good day to learn about graphs and technical. Yeah. Again, guys, the usual options activity does help. Um, let's see. Let's see where MIK is. The only reason I'm holding is because I know some of you guys, I would have taken profits already. The only reason I'm holding it is because I know some of you guys are don't ha have PDT rules. So I'm going to hold it for you guys, and I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter about MIK. So I'm willing to hold this trade, even though it's against what I usually do, which is hold, uh, which is usually take it at 40. But I'm going to hold it for you guys. So again, it should be fine. It's up 42%. I'm going to hold on to it. So I'm still confident in it. Is Nokia a good call? Nokia is not there yet. Nokia needs 536. Uh, do you still have a mint runner? No, I don't have a mint at all. Do I own Shake Shack? I don't own Shake Shack, no. Uh, FB, I think they report next week. Um, nothing really there to speak of. So I wouldn't trade it, to be honest with you. Ari, Ari's good people. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Uh, the, the the live trading gang. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of minutes here. Um, but yeah, so what I really wanted to do, guys, for this session was to really just show you what we do on a daily basis. Again, cut the crap, cut the noise, whatever. This is what we do every day. It's not that exciting. I know everyone likes to think that we have Lambos and, and party and champagne while I'm trading. It's really, man, just really quiet. Uh, that's it. That's really quiet. All you hear is the air conditioning, the fan on, and I listen to some music while I trade. So it's really just waiting. I mean, if you're looking for excitement, hit a casino, because this is not a casino, man. This is just trading. Again, I keep an eye on what's moving, what's shaking. Palantir looks familiar, right? These, these 40 calls, 32,000 vol. They're picking up, and we own the calls. So let's see if we can get that push. Yeah, Wells Fargo's getting some calls, too, for February. Um, 36,000 vol, but I'm going to skip that because... I'm pretty good with where we are. Let's make sure we get some stuff first out of the way. Let's take a look at AMC, see if I close too soon. Uh, I hate looking back, but here we are. AMC is kind of just chilling, but I already made my money. And so did the members. So congratulations. If you're a premium member or a student watching this, congratulations on your AMC and Express. You did great. I'm very proud of you guys. The UOA has been an absolute... Uh, everyone has been extremely happy with the addition of that to the team. Um, again, guys, there's no sauce. Just go to scan over 10,000. But obviously, you're paying us to do the work for you and help you out. So there's your answer. Very cool. Um, yeah. 
yeah, so let's take a look at NLK again. I know I keep going back to it, but I want to see if it breaks. Uh, there was some volume. Uh, how much is it to join? For premium, it's $200 a month. February 1st, the price goes up. Yeah, Halo Music, that's right. John knows what's up. Uh, yeah, show it to set up. Okay, so guys, very simple. We're going to go to scan, right? We're going to go to scan, and let's go to remove all filters. This is basic. We went back to basics. So I'm going to go to add a filter. I'm going to go to option, and I'm going to go to 10,000. That's it. And obviously, you can just scroll this down a little bit, give yourself some, some room, and you just go to scan. It'll show you a thousand options. Now, again, this comes up like that. So a bunch of weird stuff coming up. So you need to add a filter. So you go to option and you're going to go to ask option volume. If I can get the volume here. I think we should be all right. There you go. So I want to make sure to have the volume. 10,000 and you can put option ask and put it at zero, but you're fine. And then just click on volume and it'll give you the exact breakdown like that. So again, very simple guys on TOS, you go to scan option hacker. This is free for everybody guys. Everyone sees the same exact thing that we do. Go to volume 10,000. Very simple. Very simple. Nice one, Kevin. Nice one. You're welcome, JC. You're welcome. Uh, nothing to learn there. Nothing burger. How much is it to joint? Join is 200 a month. You can cancel anytime. Thoughts on crowd long term. Crowdstrike long term is fine. I think that's fine. So I heard AMC is buying Tesla. <laughs> How about IBKR Trading View? Um, I don't know. I don't use those platforms. I can only tell you what I use. Uh, if you want to use one other little trick, I can't say a trick, but another way you could do it is bar chart. Good old bar chart. You go over here to bar chart. You go to options, and you go to unusual options. Act. Um. Uh. Oops, excuse me. Options. Come on. Go to options. This is an uh, unusual options activity. It'll break it down for you here. You can go to full list and you have everything. So again, keep in mind, this is not live. The premium members get more. I don't pay for it. So what you want to do is just click on volume and you have everything here. But I get live information from TOS, not bar chart. So again, I can't say I use bar chart because I don't. But it's very important to go from there. Where are we at? Can you show us the scan setup again? Appreciate it. Yes. One more time. We're going to go to scan. So I'm going to clear this everything one more time. We're going to move all filters. Scan. Right away, you go to options hacker on scan. Options hacker, right? We're going to add filter. We're going to go to option. We're going to go to volume. We're going to put our number 10,000. And we'll go to scan. And that's it. That's all you need to do, guys. 10,000. Options hacker, boom, you're right there. And you and again, guys, you do your homework, you'll get there. Amazon, too expensive, guys, to trade. Too expensive. Skip it. I love the stock long term, but skip it. AMC hit 20 again. I think it. I think it will. To be honest with you, I think it's going to continue its run up. Um, I, I do. I do think so. So, I'll maybe take a look tomorrow on some longer dated options and see what's up. We'll take a look at the volume tomorrow. What's happened to gold, guys? Gold is taking a hit with the dollar being up half a percent. What's priced in dollars? Gold, silver, crude, Bitcoin. When the dollar's up, those commodities go down. Uh, yeah, I think it'll hit 20. Sure. Any earnings plays? No. Earnings plays, guys, you got to be extremely careful. This volatility out there. If you had Microsoft calls yesterday, keep in mind, it was up big in the, in the afternoon and then it fell. So be careful. Uh, AAL, I had some unusual options activity on AAL and I got burned. So I'm good. I'm staying away <laughs> for now. Thoughts on WBA? Yeah, one of my analysts was telling me about WBA. Uh, I think the CFO or the CEO of uh, of uh, CFO, the former CFO or executive of Starbucks, is now with WBA. 
Nothing much to really trade on there. Any tips for options trading? Yes. Be patient. Be patient. Mindset is key. This is hard enough as it is, guys. This is not easy to do. Look at Pelantir. Nice hammer formation on Pelantir. You guys are going to get Pelantir with me. No sweat. MIK is 50%. Yeah, the CIO, there you go. 50%. There you go. Look at this hammer candle on Pelantir. You guys are going to get it. Nice. If you guys joined all you 236 members, you guys are going to be like, ball in. And hopefully you guys join us, man. Join in, join in with us. Join in with us. Remember, when you're with us, guys, you're with a team of professionals that are here to help. You know, we're not some fly-by-night company. We've been here since 2014 helping you guys out. Look at all the free stuff that we do, market recaps. We do the morning notes, all that to help you guys out. So, again, you don't have to join. It'd be great if you did. Obviously, join the team. Um, again, we're always, always welcoming new individuals that love to be part of a great community. It's just fun. It's just fun community. If you like this live stuff, you're going to love being with us, man, because it's such a fun community. And you're going to make some money, obviously. Again, just have the right mindset. Be patient. Think long term. Remember, you're not going to get it right away, especially if you're brand new. It takes time. Work your way into it and you'll be fine. That I can guarantee you. You'll work your way into it and you will master this the more you practice. Uh, Palantir, the contract I have is the 40s for January 29. It's $200 a month. How often is a live premium? We don't do... Oh, the uh, premium live is every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. It's 200 a month. Uh, been part of the group for a year and some change. Carlos ain't lying. Yeah, Nielsen knows. I mean, guys, we're we're all apart. We're all here to help, man. That's all it is. We're all here to help. All right, LMD just broke. Okay, so we broke that level. Let's see if it's even worth our time to mess with it. I'm holding MIK for you guys. I'm holding it for you guys. I would have closed already. I would have closed. LMD is lemonade. Good old lemonade. Let's see. Uh, any kind of volume here? Eh. Not much in volume, guys. Sorry. Yeah, FCL for the UOA. Unusual options activity. Unusual options activity. Thank you so much. I'm going to make my first monthly dues just this morning. You're the best. Hey, you're welcome. Space of the moon. It is, and I know I didn't trade it, but I traded this week. All good. All good. Not really worried about it. see something here <sighs> where's this at 20% where are these at? I had a fuel cell, FCEL, that was unusual options activity. Okay, I just had to go ahead and take a look at that. My apologies, team. My apologies. I know everyone that's asking me uh, about uh, about investment club, guys. I'll get it with you guys on it. I'll get back with you in a second. Shake Shop up 25. Very nice. Unusual options activity. Will you recap your trades again? Yes. We have MIK. Feb 19, 22 and a half calls. We hit 55, but I'm holding. Pelantir, 40 calls, Jan 29 uh, at 104. There you go. NOK moving, guys. Okay, guys, calm down, calm down. Let's take a look at NOK. Calm down. And NOK is not working for me, guys. So I only got two minutes left. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. I can't load NOK. It's it's not loading, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. We're having issues here. I'm trying to do the best I can, get team. Sorry. So with that being said, I mean, TOS is having issues. 
a lot of the brokers are having issues. So I'm just going to end it here. If not, we're just going to kind of just stare at the screen <clears throat> and leave it there. DKNG, I already have my alert placed. So we'll see what happens there. All right, guys, that's where we are. Have a great, oh, there we go. 536 is the level on NOK. We're not going to do anything until that's done. <laughs> so I know you guys are excited. I know. Take a, take a deep breath. Take your time. You already got NIK. You already got MIK. You have Pelantir going for this week. You're green on, on Pelantir. Chill, 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 guys. Take your time. Take your time. No NOK until 536 break. Chill. I have to type it. Chill. Take it easy. Take it easy. Palantir 11%. Look at that. Palantir is on the move. Congratulations. Very proud of you all. And we'll catch you guys for our next uh, session. I don't know when that is. When we hit 200,000 Instagram followers or something. Or 10,000 Twitter followers. Or 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Something cool. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like this video. Really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. Uh, make sure to comment if you like. If you like everything. Um, comments are always welcome. Uh, if you don't like me and you hate me, that's fine too. You can type that away. Um, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> uh, congratulations, guys, on MIK. Palantir is moving. You'll get that as well. And I'm just happy you guys are learning. You away, guys. Use those tools. It's not magic. Not, not, I don't have any secret sauce. Just put the work in and you guys are going to make some money. That I can I can promise you. Uh, congratulations, you guys, again. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. You as well. And we'll catch you guys for the next round. Cheers, guys.